Hey guys, it's Stoof here. I had a request from a subscriber to create a tutorial for pink tulips in a glass vase. So here it is. Enjoy the tutorial coming up next. Okay, for this painting we are going to start by sketching out the concept with a small round tipped brush. We're using oil paints today. The colors I have here are flesh tint. That's a color I just made by accident. <laughs> this is permanent rose, phthalo green, magenta, yellow ochre, uh, burnt sienna, um, cadmium red light, cadmium yellow light, titanium white, sap green, ultramarine blue, and we also need some burnt umber. Uh, this is citrus solvents. It's a safer alternative to mineral spirits and it thins down your oil paint. So to sketch out the scene, I'm just mixing some colors here. I'm just trying to get a cool base color to start with. So that was a little ultramarine blue with white and I'm thinning that paint down nice and thin. Uh, just so that it's quick and easy to work with. And I'm just going to start with the vase first here. So our viewpoint, we're looking like a little slightly down at it so we can see the top of the vase. Makes kind of like a shape like this, oval. Then it comes down. So I'm just going to do this so that I get like a good little image and make sure I get this centered. But basically it comes down like this. We want to leave equal space off of the center there. And make it come down to the bottom. Try to keep everything symmetrical on both sides of your vase. I think that's looking pretty good. All right, so we got our vase basically sketched out. And now I'm just gonna sketch out the little flowers. We got tulips here. So I'm just going to start putting some tulips, just some little shapes. So they have that round bottom and a little bit more square of a top. You can put as many tulips or as few tulips as you like. You want to have a good balance, so I'm going to add another one over here. put one right there and I'll do one more about right there. All right so that's going to be my those are going to be my tulips and then we just add some stems and some leaves basically the stems don't worry about down here yet because the light is all refracted from the shape of this vase so we just work on getting the shapes up here. You don't have to have a stem visible for every single flower because you wouldn't see that in real life. Well, basically you only see the stem for the ones that are 
in the front or don't have the bottoms covered. Okay, cool. So we got the concept all sketched out and I will take a picture of this and then I'll put this on my Patreon so that you guys can have this as reference if you want to make this exactly the way that I made it here. All right, so now that we have that sketched out, we can paint the background and I'm just going to use this nice medium sized flat tip brush. This is an eight inch by 10 inch canvas. I didn't tell you guys that yet, <laughs> but uh, for that size canvas, that's this is a good size brush to work with. So I'm gonna just use some nice yellows. So I'm using my yellow ochre and my cadmium yellow light mixed with some white. And that's just gonna give me a nice warm yellow background, which will complement the pinks and the greens pretty nicely. It just gives us like a nice springtime look. Even though as I'm recording this video, it is the middle of July. So you just want to go basically like right up to the edges of your flowers. You don't want to totally cover them up, but you don't want to leave any white space where you don't have paint. And for the most part, I'm just going up and down with my brush strokes and doing a couple sideway brush strokes like this just to get some paint coverage on there. But I want to keep the look up and down for these. And let's just bring this down a little more. And then we need to have a table. So I'm gonna take some more white with a little hint of my burnt umber and ultramarine blue. Take a little purple as well. And we'll just add this right here. Yellow for the background and purple for the table is like my go-to for uh, flowers. <laughs> Just because it's like a nice complementary color background and I, I'm not painting a lot of yellow flowers. If I were painting a lot of yellow flowers, I would pick a different color for the background, but these flowers are not yellow. Okay, I'm doing my infamous paint a crooked line. So let me fix that really quickly. Is that better? I think that's better. Yeah, okay. Good enough. I'm just gonna brighten this table up as we're moving forward here. Just doing a nice blend using back and forth brush strokes this time horizontally. Gonna mix a little more brown in there towards the front. Just going right up to the edge of my vase. I'm gonna get a good even coverage of paint. I can use a little more blue, brown. Let's darken up the foreground a bit more. Kind of pulls your attention right into the center when you have a darker, like darker stuff on the outsides of the canvas. And the center of this painting is our focus anyway, so. That doesn't hurt at all, that helps. All right, it looks nice. Let's get to the back, okay. And now we'll just use those same colors in the 
middle vase part here. But you want to still like have a difference. You want to know where the outline of your vase is. So don't go like, don't completely cover up where your lines were just so you don't forget or lose your spot there. You want to make it a little darker towards the bottom too. And then use some of those background colors for the top. Just a little darker, it's fine. This is gonna get all covered up with lovely green stems anyway, so. There we go. Switch brushes back to that small round tip brush. And we're gonna mix some Thalo green with our sap green and some yellow. And that's gonna be like a good shadow color green. And then we're gonna need some white, more yellow. And that's a good highlight green. And then we're gonna need some ochre with some more sap green. And that's a nice like middle tone green. So you have shadow, middle tone, highlight. And then I go even farther where sometimes I'll make an even darker shadow and I'll build up an even brighter highlight with more yellow and white. But to get started, we're gonna use, let's use the shadow color first. So I'm just gonna start filling in some shadows here. Most of the shadows are gonna be in the center areas and a little bit like at the base of leaves, underside of leaves. There's like a shadow because it's under a flower. All right, now I'm gonna use that highlight color and just start to fill some highlights on here. And you could be a little more selective about where you're putting your highlights so that it kind of reads as realistic. <laughs> But it really helps just to like get this all on the canvas first and then you can always go back and change things and adjust your highlights and shadows later. But it's good to take just like a first attempt at it and try to put your highlights in the right spot. You want to make sure you cover up all these green spots. You should only have the tulip parts still showing. The flowers are still, um, yeah, still not painted in with color yet. All right, I'll use that middle color. And I'll just work on adding some more of my little stems in there. All right, I'm gonna take some of my ultramarine blue and burnt umber. And this is gonna be my really dark shadow. So this is gonna go under this guy. Gonna have one right in there. This is the trick about working with oil paint. Everything stays wet for a long time. So you have to not press as hard. You have to press more lightly here so that it doesn't blend. It kind of just glides over top. So it's starting to build up a little. And then we'll add some highlights later. I'm gonna let that sit for a bit and just start to add 
the bits that come down into the vase here. So we kind of just using that middle value one. You want to carry down what you already see there. You can switch to the dark one too. Then we have a little bit of light refracting, so it's not giving us like actual real shapes like that you would see um, just looking at the leaves in person without any glass. <laughs> so these shapes all get like kind of twisted. We can use some more of our ochre down here. Starting to pick up more of those colors in the base. All right, now let's just fill in the colors, base color for the flowers. So I just cleaned off this brush. This is my fine brush. And for my base, I think a really good base color is just my flesh tint, honestly, without adding anything to it. And then we can add highlights and some more shadows later. So just fill in all of your tulips, making sure you're not leaving any white space. Just use the flush tint. Or if you want to make different colored tulips, you can use whatever color you want. I think another nice uh, color for tulips would be magenta with white. You could get like a nice purple tulip. I guess you could make a bouquet of tulips that has like multicolored tulips too. You could use yellow. Um, red, bright red would be really nice too. I would really draw your attention right into the center. All right guys, so now we have our base layer of paint down. We have our tulips filled in with just a base color. There isn't any white space still left on the canvas. <laughs> As I see a couple little white spaces. So make sure you get to this point. So that's where we're at. I'm gonna stop and we're gonna come back and add more detail in the next session. Okay, so we got our base layer of color down. I let that dry overnight, and now I'm ready to add some highlights. I'm just gonna take some magenta. Ah, uh, wait, that was. So that I'm taking some alizarin crimson with my cadmium yellow light and some white. Just giving me like a peachy, warm. Highlight color, we're just gonna use that on like the upper sides here. It's still blending in. So we're using oil paints here. As you can see, this is still wet. If I let this dry for a few days, then it would be okay, but it's still wet. So we need to work lightly with our brush strokes, just putting them over top of what we already have even add some more white to this.
I basically just start at the top, work my way down. Oh, that's permanent rose. With some orange, a little bit of brown. Just mixing rose with magenta and some brown. So since everything's still wet here, I'm just working really thickly with the paint. I'm just really throwing these layers on so that they don't blend. You have to have a little top for these all. So just putting a little sweep there for the tops. Now we got the flowers looking good. Take some magenta and some brown. Just gonna put that, we'll use some burnt umber too. Just gonna put that at the edge of some of these so we can get a little separation. Just keeping it really thick not watering it down since everything's still wet. Try 
Try to keep it mostly darker towards the bottom. All right, now we can go back and work on the the greens here. So we're going to take some brown with our umber, a little bit of ochre, and our burnt sienna, thala green, thala blue, and just put that there for that one. It's darkening up the stems on a couple of these. And we can darken up the base on these leaves. This is where we really work on building up that contrast. And then we'll just take some white with some yellow, a little bit of blue gets mixed in there, and we're just going to put that on the edge. Some of these leaves, basically just outlining the leaves. And let's just cover one of these up a little bit there. All right, and we got some more highlights down here. Kind of going all over the place, random little highlights. Like I said before, the lights are fracting, so things aren't quite straight down there. All right, now I can finish working on the glass rim. Just gonna take a little white here, do a nice little rim. Like that. And now all of a sudden we have Nice little vase here. Gonna get that edge fixed up. It has a little green in it, but that's okay. No big deal. bit of my magenta and some blue got mixed in there as well. We can add some little shadows. And we can add some little highlights too. And I'm just really thickly laying, layering this paint on. If you want this to have a little more detail and you want to have a little more control over what you're working on, then you should let your first layer, your base layer of paint dry 100% before we, or before you add the second layer of detail.
Gonna add a couple more little shadows. And here, just to keep boosting that contrast. And we got a couple dark little shadows in there. Let's go over that with a highlight. All right, it looks pretty nice. And then let's add a couple little more shadows on the tops of some of these. And I'll boost this highlight one more time. And we need a little shadow on the table. add another little highlight on the flowers you can uh, but that's basically it guys this is a pretty quick simple little tutorial if you want to go into more detail you can if you want to start using smaller brushes you can get a little bit more in these flowers that's about it that covers the basics for painting tulips So thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. If you have any recommendations for future videos you'd like to see, then leave a comment below this video letting me know what you want to see. And if you recreate this painting, you can post it on your Instagram and tag me the painting stoof so I can see it. So happy painting. Have a great day. And I'll catch you next time. Bye bye.